Carlo, why is Rio important for WFP? What do you hope to take from it? Well, Rio is, is uh, as you know, it's a one in a generation event. It's something that uh, everyone is waiting for. It is uh, a moment during which we expect the international community to be able to reset the vision of sustainable development. And in that context, uh, uh, WP basically will uh, uh, advocate uh, together with, uh, with many partners for uh, uh, the reestablishment and the re-energizing of the discourse on hunger eradication as part of the vision of sustainable development. Fundamentally, one of the key messages we are going to, to bring to Rio is that uh, there is no way we can even talk about sustainable development if we are unable to resolve the fundamental issues such as uh, hunger, which is uh, affecting the lives and, and livelihoods of a billion people around the world, as we all know. At ARD Day um, in Rio on uh, June 18th, you're organizing a learning event on sustainable development and another one on uh, sustainable nutrition, all going along with the recommendations of the Commission for Sustainable Agriculture and Climate Change. Um, what are your specific objectives in conducting these sessions there? Well, um, they are very close to, to our stated objective. As I mentioned, our, our fundamental aim in Rio is to make sure that we can think and conceive uh, and, and uh, re-elaborate a vision of sustainable development that is based on the, the objective of the inclusion and equity. Uh, and, and so when we look at uh, the uh, recommendations emanating from the CCAP study, um, and we look specifically at the issue of, uh, we at uh, WP focus specifically on the issue of vulnerability and the inclusion of uh, the marginalized group, the marginal people, the subsistence, subsistence farmers, pastoralists, people living in arid and semi-arid land, living on less than one hectare per day, uh, fragile uh, households exposed to disaster risk, exposed to the impacts of climate change. And the question is, how do these people related to sustainable development and even better, how does sustainable development and our vision of sustainable development related to the future of these uh, households, uh, these communities and these livelihoods. So the events we are trying to focus on uh, will uh, uh, address this type of aspects and they will try to highlight some of the uh, challenges, but also some of the lessons learned, the positive lessons uh, the results uh, and success stories that have been achieved in the field. Okay. okay. Now, coming to another issue, it's widely recognized that uh, issues like climate change adaptation can only be resolved in a cooperative environment, like the Global Donor Platform of which WFP as a member is trying to create. How do you see WFP's role in such a collaborative environment? And how do you see such collaborations developing in the future? Well, this is probably really the, the, the essential question. And perhaps if there is one issue on which uh, there has been convergence over the last, uh, I would say, the last year in thinking about Rio is the issue of coming together with stronger partnerships in support of uh, a development that is, in fact, sustainable. And looking at this issue from the point of WFP, uh, we look at fundamental challenges in building the resilience uh, and the long-term sustainability of the fragile livelihoods and fragile communities. And these are uh, uh, achievements, outcomes that we can only deliver if we work in partnership. If we are able to work with communities responding to their needs, to their vision of uh, of, uh, of, of a future that is sustainable, that is built uh, in respect of uh, of the natural uh, resources on which people depend, um, and also as an element of sort of convergence with the work of many other actors, uh, and bringing basically breaking uh, the, the silo mentality and approaches that we have been able to build over the last uh, decades, uh, uh, and bringing and focusing much more uh, in our ability on our ability to work together as partners in delivering outcomes that make sense for people on the ground. So uh, partnerships uh, are uh, a sine qua non condition today to, 
to be to make efficient use of resources in a way and to deliver outcomes. And I think we are past to the period of uh, doing one project for one objective. Today, we work in a resource scarce environment. We have to be, na be able to be much more strategic in the use that we make of, uh, of the resources, but also of the opportunities that we have to meet and to touch the ground and, and, and meet with, uh, uh, with, uh, with the populations who are in need and communities that uh, have a few options and opportunities to change their life. This so is maybe the, the situation, the conditions of, uh, of poverty under which population live, in other words, uh, makes a compelling case for uh, the international aid community to use much better its own resources, to be more strategic, to be more punctual, to be more efficient, and to be also uh, able to harmonize uh, interventions that come from different sectors. There is a need, in a way, not only to build more partnerships and to reinforce and strengthen partnerships, but also to do better what we do. We need to be able to uh, find the new ways of uh, forging alliances uh, to deliver uh, fundamental um, outcomes in the field for people who are particularly marginalized and vulnerable. So maybe to sum it up in, in one line in, in a nutshell, what do you think is the added value of WFP being part of the global donor platform? Well, for us, it's a, it's a great opportunity to meet with uh, uh, actors, key actors uh, that can provide complementary support to the work WFP does in the field. Uh, you should not forget the WP reaches. Uh, it's one of the few agencies that literally every year reaches a uh, hundred million people in the most uh, uh, in, in the most deprived and most vulnerable environments and conditions. And we uh, operationally provide the support to these uh, to these communities. Therefore, we can also provide a platform for more uh, actors uh, to to come on board and to contribute uh, to solutions at the local level. From this point of view, WP offers itself as a platform, but also is assured that through the global donor platform, we can benefit uh, in terms of knowledge, uh, technical capacity, new opportunities for partnerships, strategic alliances, and so on. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Okay, cheers.